All right, I love this. It's not easy to do. It's the art of creating something out of nothing with just one suggestion improv and the talented team at American Stage are offering classes to help you hone your skills. Patrick Jackson is back to tell us more. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome back, by the thank way. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah. This is so true. I love this because I remember in high school taking an improv class and I think whether you're an actor or whether you want to be in TV or whether you just want to be more comfortable in your own skin. These classes help. Tell us more about them. What I love about improv is, is what you just said. It's about just being in the moment and trying something new. Yeah. So we really encourage uh, anyone to take a class. We have beginning all the way to advanced. Okay. From short form, so games like you would see on Whose Line Is It Anyway. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, to long form, some taking an idea and making a full sketch or a story even musical improv. Oh, really? Okay, now I don't know if I could do that. <laughs> you don't have to sing, it's just being present in the moment and making something up. Wow, so how do the classes, how are they structured? Like give people an idea of maybe what they can expect. Sure, so on the first day, um, every instructor kind of goes over what the whole entire nine week period is okay. going to be like. And to really- So that's what you should commit yourself to, the nine, nine week. weeks. Okay, mm -hmm. nine weeks. Nine weeks, the class of two hours. Okay. Um, and then it's really about creating an environment of no mistakes. Okay. Anything that you say is right in that moment. Okay. Now that's a big thing for most adults. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you, I mean, do you see that improv skills really can um, make a difference in people? I mean, I can imagine the people that come in in the beginning of the mm. nine weeks and what they're like after nine weeks. Tell us about that difference that maybe you've seen over the years. I have seen so many moments of transformation. I, I had a student maybe two quarters ago. Uh, she came in very timid, very, um, she, I could tell she was dealing with some social yeah. anxiety. And at the end, I mean, she blossomed and uh, she took so many bold uh, just chances on yeah. stage, creating fun characters um, that I just wouldn't expect on that first day. Yeah, and really no matter what acting or what you're gonna do, I think improv is gonna help, um, even again, job related. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, so after this nine weeks, there's also, if you just wanna come and enjoy, um, again, like the TV show that you just mentioned not too long ago, yeah. it's just fun to sit back and watch right. at and the talent that a lot of you guys have. So our program is, is 10 years old, and so we, uh, we have gone from classes moving into professional improv yeah. shows. So starting November 9th, we have some select Saturdays where you can come to see two different shows. We have uh, Music and Mayhem at 7 p.m., and that's a collection of short form, musical improv, and long form okay. improv. And then at 9 p.m., the Hawk and Wayne show, our co-founders, Gavin Hawk and Ricky Wayne. Okay. So two different style shows for anyone that wants to laugh. What is your biggest tip, do you think, for improv and getting people to kind of step out of their shell and maybe, um, I mean, what's your biggest kind of advice for people? Um, I, I go back to that, there's no mistakes. And I think we, we often can beat ourselves up and think about a shoulda, coulda, mm -hmm. or woulda, but in improv, yeah. anything you say truly is okay because your scene partners, their job is to make you look good. Yeah. And my job is to, is to back and forth that reciprocation of just making each other look good. Yeah, cool. um, what's, what's the age group here? I mean, I'd imagine it kind of runs the gamut, but. Uh, our, for our classes, we offer classes 18 and up. Okay. We do have a teen improv program okay. if, if some younger students are interested. But for our shows, um, our improv nights are for adults only. Okay. But all we're right. starting Good something new. Yeah. Uh, we have a story time improv, and that's an all ages family show. We have a pop up show on November 9th okay. in the afternoons, and then we'll do a run of shows in August. Well, it's so funny because I'm thinking of my older kids, five and six. I feel like they do improv all the time, mm -hmm. right? It's got to be this idea of maybe kind of going back to when you're a child and yeah. just where anything goes and it's you're just having a play. good time. Yeah. Yes, it really is. Well, thank you so much for coming in thank today. You. Again, if people want to find out more information, uh, go to the classes or, or check out these improv nights, what would you have them do? Uh, AmericanStage.org slash improv. All right. Thank you so much. We look forward to seeing you again soon. <laughs>